Hello, everyone. Welcome to this video on the biography of Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong was an American astronaut and the first person to walk on the moon. He was a national hero and an inspiration to many. In this video, we will take a look at his life, his achievements, and his legacy. Early Life Neil Armstrong was born on August 5, 1930, in Wapakoneta, Ohio. He grew up in a small town and was interested in flying from a young age. He developed a love for aviation after his father took him to see the Cleveland Air Races when he was just two years old. At the age of six, he took his first airplane ride in a Ford Trimeter. Education and Military Service After graduating from high school, Armstrong attended Purdue University. He studied aeronautical engineering and received his Bachelor of Science degree in 1955. After college, he joined the United States Navy and became a fighter pilot. He flew 78 combat missions during the Korean War and was awarded several medals for his service. NASA Career After completing his military service, Armstrong joined NASA as a civilian test pilot. He was selected as an astronaut in 1962 and became the first civilian astronaut to fly in space. He flew on the Gemini 8 mission in 1966, which was the first docking of two spacecraft in orbit. Apollo 11 Mission Armstrong became a household name in 1969 when he commanded the Apollo 11 mission and became the first person to walk on the moon. His famous words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, will forever be remembered as a milestone in human history. He and his crewmates, Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins, spent a total of 21 hours on the moon's surface. Later Life and Legacy After the Apollo 11 mission, Armstrong continued to work for NASA and was involved in several other space missions. He retired from NASA in 1971 and became a professor of aerospace engineering at the University of Cincinnati. He also served on several boards and committees related to space exploration. Neil Armstrong passed away on August 25, 2012, at the age of 82. He left behind a legacy that will never be forgotten. He inspired generations of people to dream big and to pursue careers in science and engineering. His contributions to space exploration will always be remembered as a defining moment in human history. Armstrong was a skilled pilot and flew many different types of aircraft throughout his career, including helicopters, jets, and gliders. He also tested experimental aircraft for NASA and other organizations. After retiring from NASA, Armstrong became involved in business and served on the boards of several companies, including Learjet and Cincinnati Gas and Electric. Armstrong was a strong advocate for education and science, and he believed that space exploration was crucial to the future of humanity. He gave numerous speeches and lectures on these topics throughout his life. In 2005, Armstrong testified before Congress in support of the Vision for Space Exploration, a plan to send humans back to the moon and eventually to Mars. He argued that space exploration was important for national security, economic development, and scientific discovery. Armstrong was known for his humility and his willingness to give credit to his colleagues and team members. He often downplayed his own accomplishments and emphasized the importance of teamwork and collaboration. Armstrong's legacy continues to inspire people all over the world, and he is often cited as a role model for young people interested in science, engineering, and space exploration. Armstrong's first flight in space was on the Gemini 8 mission in 1966, which was the first docking of two spacecraft in orbit. During the mission, Armstrong and his co-pilot, David Scott, experienced a malfunction that caused their spacecraft to spin out of control. Armstrong was able to regain control of the spacecraft and return safely to Earth. Armstrong was a member of the Apollo 11 mission, which launched on July 16, 1969, and landed on the moon on July 20. He and his co-pilot, Buzz Aldrin, spent two and a half hours outside the spacecraft during which time they collected samples of moon rocks and conducted experiments. 
Despite his fame, Armstrong was a very private person and did not seek out publicity. He rarely gave interviews or made public appearances, and he was known for being humble and unassuming. Armstrong was an accomplished musician and played the baritone horn, the trumpet, and the piano. He often played in jazz bands and even performed with the Cincinnati Pops Orchestra in 1994. After his death in 2012, Armstrong was honored in many ways. NASA renamed the Operations and Checkout Building at the Kennedy Space Center the Neil Armstrong Operations and Checkout Building. The U.S. Navy also named a research vessel after him, the RV Neil Armstrong. Armstrong's famous words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, were actually a mistake. Armstrong had intended to say, that's one small step for a man, but he misspoke. Despite the error, the phrase has become one of the most recognizable quotes in history. Armstrong was a member of the Boy Scouts of America and earned the rank of Eagle Scout, the highest rank in the organization. Armstrong was selected as an astronaut in 1962 as part of NASA's second group of astronauts, also known as the New Nine. Before his historic moon landing, Armstrong had to manually fly the lunar module to avoid boulders and craters on the surface of the moon. He landed with just 20 seconds of fuel remaining. After his moon landing, Armstrong received thousands of letters and gifts from people all over the world. He tried to respond to as many of them as possible. Armstrong was an advocate for environmental conservation and served on the board of directors for the World Wildlife Fund. In 2019, NASA celebrated the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 mission with a series of events and exhibitions. Armstrong's spacesuit was put on display for the first time in 13 years at the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. Armstrong's legacy has inspired many people to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics (STEM) fields. There are several scholarships and awards named in his honor, including the Neil Armstrong Scholarship Fund at Purdue University and the Neil Armstrong Award of Excellence at The Ohio State University. Armstrong's father was an auditor for the state government in Ohio, and his mother was a homemaker. They encouraged their son's interest in flying from a young age. Armstrong flew 78 combat missions as a naval aviator during the Korean War. He was awarded several medals for his service, including the Air Medal and the Gold Star. Armstrong was an accomplished engineer and held several patents for inventions related to aeronautics and spaceflight. Armstrong was a member of the National Academy of Engineering, one of the highest honors in the field of engineering. He was also a fellow of the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics. Armstrong was a fan of science fiction and once appeared in an episode of the TV show Star Trek, The Next Generation. He played a character named Admiral Anthony Haftel. Armstrong donated his papers and personal artifacts to Purdue University, his alma mater. The Neil Armstrong Collection includes over 450 boxes of documents, photographs, and other items related to his life and career. Armstrong was a test pilot for the X-15 rocket plane, which set several speed and altitude records in the 1960s. He also flew several other experimental aircraft during his career. Armstrong's first words after landing on the moon were actually Houston, tranquility base here. The eagle has landed. He said the famous phrase, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, later, as he stepped onto the lunar surface. After retiring from NASA, Armstrong became involved in several philanthropic organizations, including the National Space Society and the Astronaut Scholarship Foundation. Armstrong's legacy continues to inspire people all over the world to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics (STEM) fields. In 2019, the Neil Armstrong Foundation announced a new initiative to support STEM education programs in schools across the United States. Armstrong's famous moon boot prints are still visible on the lunar surface today. They are expected to remain there for millions of years, as there is no wind or atmosphere on the moon to erode them. Armstrong was known for his focus and attention to detail, 
qualities that helped him to succeed in challenging situations. He once said, I am, and ever will be, a White Sox, pocket protector, nerdy engineer. Conclusion So, that was a brief overview of the life and achievements of Neil Armstrong. He was a true American hero and an inspiration to people all over the world. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about this amazing man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like this video so that you will not miss the next video. Comment down below today.